Hello guys, in this video we watch a game of the best Korean Aurelia in the world. So if you wanna know how to play on Aurelia like the best player, be sure to watch this video to the end. Let's go! Okay, this Aurelia will stay on the top lane against Jace. Jace is very strong pick at early game, but Aurelia also not bad. So it will be very interesting who is stronger on the lane. As you can see, she is fighting in the bush for a creeps. Cause maybe Jace in the, sitting in this bush. So she don't wanna get some poke from Jace cause he's range. So be careful. And as you can see, she was in the bush. Now she's in Q on the creeps. She has bone plating and now she's Auto attacking with Jace. She stuck Conqueror. Her auto attack deals a lot of damage. And flash auto attack, and she got first blood on the Jace. It was so good play from Aurelia. And now she has first blood, level advantage. And she pushing lane. This is teleport, so he come back to the lane. But he lost half HP points on the place. But now Aurelia is using her recall, so it's so perfect for her. And now she can buy another Doran Blade potion. And after that, she can dominate lane so easy. Also, you can see she got Conqueror, Triumph, Legion of Alacrity, Last Stand, One Plating, and Revitalize. Her rune stats is attack speed, attack damage, and armor. It's classic build. But I prefer to get, instead of Triumph, Princess of Might, cause Aurelia has some troubles with mana pool. And with this rune, you can easy turn your mana after fights. But this current player got Triumph, so this is his choice. And you see how he will play. Now lane pushing to him. He tried to catch this chase. He missed E, but he used a lot of damage. Oh my god, man. He got tower shot, but he dodged damage from tower shot with his W. And he survived and killed this Jace. It was so risky play. But he got him. And now Jace has no chances on the lane. So, high risk, high reward. And now she's in record. Recall. Because she can't get any plate at this level. To get this played so long, so you better use recall and get items. Now she got more AD and she'll deal more damage on the lane. She got streak, so it's so perfect lane. But anyway, Jace is very strong at early game and he has a lot of base damage, so you be careful. And also, enemy Diana can try to gank you. This is Korean ranked games. So they don't wanna give you just farm with this huge streak. And they will try to catch you. So you be careful. She playing without pink ward. So it's so amazing. Because enemy jungler can gank you. But it's fine, maybe. Thinks he can easy kill both of, both of them with ultimate and E. Aurelia deals a lot of damage and she can literally destroy top laner and jungler at the same time. Now she frees in lane, but lane slow pushing to chase. Oh, she tried to catch this chase, but then I was in the bush. Oh my god. No, damage not enough and Aurel just died. As I said, this is Korean Rocket Games. Enemy jungler can try to gank you. Oh, this is scene. He hit his Q on the chase and he got this heal. Lane's uh, slow pushing to them. So, listen trying to push this lane. He don't wanna let to freeze this lane. I really come into the lane, but she's so far. But I think Diana can easily try to tank this wave and this lane will be freezed 
for this, it's bad for Aurelia. Both lane will be freezed under enemy tower. And so hard to kill this chase under his tower. Okay, now Aurelia has ultimate. So she can kill the chase even under his tower. Oh, he hit he. Oh my gosh, he survived on two hits. But Aurelia has low move speed. Then I come and she used ultimate. And. Victor used teleport too. I really got tower hit. But Victor killed this Jace and Lysin killed this Diana. So okay, it's fine. She won a lot of time. Enemy jungler lost a lot of times on the top lane. Her Victor and Lysin got kills. So it's so good for her. But now she coming for top lane. I think. Better to go on mid lane, cause Victor on the top lane and need to defense mid tower. Lissander will push. So yeah, now she coming for mid tower. Cause this will be a lot of creeps. We get this wave and we will come back to the top lane. But soon we will be fight for the Drake. Be careful. She got this wave and I'm coming for top side. Jay's pushing lane. You wanna get some play. Her team fighting for bot lane. I really has not teleport, so it's wet. You can help. Oh, this is seen play it so risky. But he has a lot of sustain. And survive ability. Okay, so he survived. And now really farming. She try to catch this Jace. Because he can use recall in the bush. But no. I think he already used his recall. Now really trying to slow push this way. And maybe she will get some play. It's so risky because enemy Diana and Chase was missing. Okay, she saw Chase, but. She doesn't know where is enemy Diana. She tried to gank top lane so much. So I really think then I can gank her again. Oh, he used her ultimate and flash combo, but she missed her E. Oh, this Jace. Just knock up her to the enemy tower. To the, to the enemy tower and just died. It's bad play for Aurelia. And now Jace got killed. It's bad. But it's fine because Aurelia Ar anyway has a lot of farm. She got a lot of farm and 2 kills, 3 assists. Jace was his teleport. And again, he knocked up to the enemy tower, Victor. And he got an another kill. No, he he's just assist. Okay. Anyway, Victor with huge streak just died. So it's bad. Now she coming for top lane. She has teleport. Jace has a teleport, so she can try to help for her team under break. Also, Jace without flash. So she can try to catch this Jace with her E or ultimate and it will be free kill. Oh she catch this Jace. And this Jace just a food for her. Lissandra was in the bush and Diana was, was also there. Need be careful, but I think she can easily kill them with Lissin. Aurelia with Lysin has a lot of damage in their early game. So they I think they easy can kill them. Lysin trying to get this hero. But I really listen to her recall. I think she wanna buy Botrek and after that she can use teleport on the war. On this war. 
She can steal a boss, so she can allow us yourself to do this. Okay, her team got heroed without any troubles. So she can save her teleport for Drake fight. So it will be good. Also, Lee Sin can use his hero on the top lane or mid lane to get plates. Drake was on mid lane. Enemy team is missing, so I'm be careful. Okay, the Sander was on the middle lane. Listen, this is hero, and they got first started. Jace was there. She got played, and oh, this Jace used a lot of damage, and that really lost half HP. So it's best for her. And if she will lose, she will use teleport on the Drake. She will just insta die with this HP. And the enemy team got Dragon. It's bad for her, but not important. Now she is very good ultimate. And this damage from Q is so insane. It's one shot at this race without any chances. And after that, she can easily get plates. I think two plates will be enough. And every team still was on the bottom lane. They just fighting. It reduced a lot of damage. This is your ultimate. Oh, this Kaisa survived. Oh, it's a bad flash from... Oh, I really used your teleport on this ward. But it was not necessary, I think. Because your team can easily win this fight. But he's fine. She's teleport, she got this wave. And after that she can try to get this place. Oh, there was a lot of plates. She got one plate, maybe two. Yeah, she got two and four. Her plate. Yeah, it's so huge. Oh my god, man. Four plates. It's very good teleport, four plates. For no reason. But now she has to go back. No heroes and Kaisa was there. So be careful. Four plates. It's very good. She got a lot of golds. With her teleport. Yeah, she can... She could get this tower, but... The team already got first turret. So it's not necessary. And four plates is so huge. With her. So it's very good teleport. She got a lot of gold from these plates. Kaisa and Nautilus just missed. So they don't wanna continue in their push. Barto and Lissin was there. So it would be easy gank. But they just disappeared. As you can see, she got Bozrek and her next item will be Immortal Shield Ball. And after that, she will get Ginsu Blade. It's new classic Korean build on the Aurelia. With this item, she deals a lot of damage. Oh, Data was there. Oh my god, she deals a lot of damage to Diana. But this is Lissandra Ultimate. Just stopped Aurelia. But this really has a lot of sustain with these items. Immortal Shield Bow, Botrack, 20 life steal, and also Conqueror gives you sustain. So this is so huge in the early game. But she just died from Lissandra. Lissandra has huge CC. So it's just trouble for her. And for every champion with sustain, if you can hit, you can survive. But here it's fine. Oh, enemy team was on the bottom lane. So her team just got turret and oh, enemy jungle. Now they're not fighting. They got Bart. 
part just died for no reason. It's bad. Okay, fine. Our barrier is pretty strong. With two with these items, she has a lot of damage sustained through her ability. Also, she got Doran Blade, so it's additional Omni Vamp. Their team was on the hero. So, I think they will fight for this. Oh, Diana just jumped on Lysine. Oh, Nautilus missed his Flash Q combo. And this Varus deals a lot of damage. Oh my god. Aurelia was there, she destroyed this Lissandra. Oh my god, man. Oh, it's just right on one hit, man. It's bad. No, it's... she's not greedy. Okay, she's right on one hit, but she played very cool. She's her ultimate flash combo on the Kaisa. And Kaisa was just destroyed. She has no survive items, only damage, so it's just good for Aurelia. And she played very clean. So now we know why she's best Korean Aurelia in the world. That very good. Now she is recall on the base. She got these items. Rage knife. So with this item, she has additional damage. Got attacks. And after that she will buy Rage Blade. Queen's Rain Queen's. Rage Blade. And she deals a lot of damage. I played with this build my games on the Aurelia. And she's really deals a lot of damage with these items. And also she has good survivability with this sustain and shield from Immortal Shield Bow. So this is build is very good on her. Aurelia has teleport, so if her team will fight, she can use teleport. With teleport, you can easily split push and help your team with teleport. They got support, no it use. So now, after, after that, they can try to get this hero. Aurelia has still. Teleport. So she just fine and go for bot lane. Post fight will be for hero. Your team again, you get this object without any troubles. So she don't need to use her teleport. Oh, but catch this Lissandra. But then I was there and they fighting. I really still don't want to use teleport. Jace gives a lot of damage. And Diana is very strong. And we seem to die too. It's a bad fight because Varus was on the base. And Aurelia was on the bottom lane. So this was fight 5 against 3. And they wanna get nature. Nature just respawned, she is teleporting this ward. Let's see what they will do. They've been fighting for nature. They without Victor and they seem, but Victor has teleport. She catch this. Oh my god! She was so sane, man. But this Nautilus no stun is so huge. But due to this sustain, she deals a lot of damage with ultimate EQ. Okay, her team help. For this fight, they just come, and now they, I think they can try to get this nature. Almost full enemy team that died. She played very good in this moment, she just used her ultimate QE on the Kai'Sa and Lissandra, and she just one shot at them. And with Immortal Shilbo and this sustain, she 
dunk a lot of damage. Okay, now they got a uh, nature, but I really without buff. She missed this buff. It's not good. But okay, it's fine. Because her team with buff and enemy team with lost a lot of gold. With this fight. So, okay. It's good. Now she clearing this jungle. And she will come for bot lane again. Soon we will be fight for the Drake. Oh, Lissandra was there, she is her ultimate. A Bart used his ultimate and she hit this Lissandra and Lissandra just died. It's very good play from Bart. She catch this Lissandra ultimate. And Lissin still has nature. Oh, there was no heals and Kaisa, she catch this. Kaisa, oh, this damage, man. She gives a lot of damage to the no heals and Kaisa. Kaisa just died from two Qs from already and two or one auto attack. And this hero still survive. 60, 61 HP. And again, 21 HP. And maybe she. Jump on this tower too. Oh yeah. And they one shot at the Jace. They should just end this game. They can stop them. They trying to kill these enemies on the fountain. But it's useless. They got Lissandra. And they just ended this game. So now we saw how we play in the best Aurelia in the world. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can write a comment. For more guides, you can check in my playlist. And now, have a nice day and goodbye.